guys, this is Super Review Show for another episode of Rock Talk. This show where I break down albums that have anniversaries. The album is just that good. You should definitely check it out. And here we are today, January 9th, 2024, talking about probably their biggest album with their original lead singer. Yes, as the title of this video suggests, we're talking about Van Halen's 1984, 40 years ago today. Van Halen <clears throat> 1984 was released on shelves everywhere across the country and the world. Um, this w w really quick backstory: this, this album came out in on today, January 9th, 19, in 1984. Um, so it's been 40 years, and I got to tell you, there have been some some of their best songs of the David Lee Roth era of Van Halen are on this record. I mean, from like Jump, which was their, the band, the song that kind of broke up the band. In a sense, but also it has Panama, Hot for Teacher, Drop Dead Legs, Top Jimmy. Panama's great, man. Uh, Hot for Teacher, as I said. I'll Wait, Girl Gone Bad, and Has of Pain. There's nine songs. Really, if you, if you want to count the instrumental of 1984, uh, there's a total of nine songs on the record. But this was the album. Here's the vinyl. Because the track listing's not on the vinyl. I'm not sure why. But there's the there it is right there with uh, the track listing. Uh, Jump, Panama, Top, Jimmy, Drop Dead Legs, and Hoffer Teacher, I'll Wait, Girl Gone Bad, and Has to Pain. Arguably the best era of album from the David Lee Roth era. Now, that being said, my personal favorite Van Halen record overall is the first one. I love that record to death. To me, it, Ted Templeman's production, and... Eddie Van Halen just learning, like showing the world there's a different way to play the guitar, almost like the way Jimmy Page did, but a little bit better in my opinion. Um, but Eddie Van Halen was a pioneer of the guitar, and he was missed deeply to this day. But with 1984, it's funny. I've heard people say before, like on air or on radio or whatever, you know, the first four David Lee Roth records are phenomenal. Once you get to the Diver Down, gets a little, it kind of hits the mark a little bit. Well, because there's a lot of covers and barely any original material on it. And then you get to 1984 with, with this album. And it's like, you know, it's good. There's really some really great songs on it, like Panama, Hot for Teacher, um, I'll Wait, Jump. You know, those are all great songs, don't get me wrong. But the keyboard kind of threw off a lot of the hard rock fans of, of Van Halen mania, if you will. That's back in the day, of course. And now that Van Halen has passed on, it's very unfortunate, of course. But... The David Lee Roth, it's funny, when, when Eddie Van Halen died, the David Lee Roth era of Van Halen skyrocketed with sales. I'm not sure why the Sammy Hagar era didn't, but I, I, I know, I know, I don't, I'm not one to pick and choose. I, I love both eras of the band. Yes, I wasn't alive during that time period, but I just, I love Van Halen. I love Eddie Van Halen, regardless of who the lead singer was. I think it's a great, they're just one of the best bands to ever be around, um, truthfully. So... But back to 1984. So it's funny. 1978 was Van Halen 1. 79 was Van Halen 2. 80 was Fair Warning. 81 was for Women and Children First. 82 was Diver Down. And then just because the they took a break one year, they made 1984. And it came out in January of 1984 today. Um, this is a great record. This is a really great record. It's the last one we got with David Lee Roth until 2012's... Um, uh, a different kind of truth, but this one is just a great record overall, and I I, I love it. It, it. Actually, it's a really solid record overall. Um, some of my favorite Van Halen, some of my favorite Van Halen cuts in general. On Panama is one of them. Um, Hot for Teacher, one of them. I'll wait. Mainly the singles that got released. And by the way, just want to let you guys know, their only number one hit is Jump, and it's on this record. So if, if you're like, oh, I love Jump, whatever, right? Jump is on this record, and that's pretty much that. So, you know. But listen. This is a great record. If you've never heard this album, 1984, Get On It, it's one of the one of the most pioneering albums of Van Halen's career. It's one of the most pioneering albums of like just of just in general for hard rock and heavy metal to an extent. I mean, some people, a lot of people, look up to those riffs on Panama. They look up to the riffs on um, what do you call it? They look up to the riffs on Hot for Teacher. The Hot for Teacher is really hard to play. I'm surprised anyone could cover that to begin with. The drums, the guitar. If you've never heard the song Hot for Teacher, get on it. It's an incredible song. Um, and then after this, they, you know, they, they fired David Lee Roth and they got Sammy Hagar and then they went in a different direction. And I like that direction a lot too. Don't get me wrong. You know, you know, Why Can't This Be Love, Love Walks In. Great songs over there too. But this was the last one that kind of like really made the band that a lot of people fell in love with 
turn into like, oh, they're different now, you know, and and it, it, it was a good direction. It was a change for them, but it was a good direction overall. So, uh, but what do you guys think? Have you heard of, have you seen Van Halen live back in the day? And have you at least heard this album from 1984? Happy 40th anniversary to Van Halen's 1984 album, 1984. Uh, as I said, with Jump, with Panama, Drop Dead Legs, Top Jimmy, Hot for Teacher, I'll Wait. This is a really great record. If you've never heard the whole album, I do recommend you listen to it from start to finish. This is my vinyl copy that I've had forever. Um, I do love it. I play it a lot. I'm going to play it. When I'm done recording this video, of course, so I can enjoy myself some Van Halen. Uh, but yeah, that's going to do it for us, guys. Thanks so much for watching. Like, comment, subscribe, hit the bell for notifications. Don't forget to follow us on social media as well. Happy 40th anniversary to Van Halen's 1984 album, 1984. So for all of, for, for all of your Rock Tuck episodes, keep it locked on the Super Show, the J-Man. It's up to rock. We'll see you guys later.